Hi, Scorpio. It's with a weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Scorpio strongly in their chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, although we'll give it a little bit of wiggle room for, for folks. Um, let's go ahead and dig in and see what's here for Scorpio for the week. Scorpio energy. Four of Pentacles. All right, Scorpio, just a reminder that I am looking at a weekly reading here, and even though I tend to get a little deeper um, than I would like to, I'm um, just a reminder and a reminder for myself that we're looking at a weekly reading. So um, this is probably for most people something of a more lighter nature, although some people could connect in deeper as well. Just, you know, it's going to impact everyone um, just a little bit differently. All right, let's go ahead and get started, Scorpio. We have you in, as you're moving into this next week, we have you moving in in the Eight of Cups energy. So there has been some sadness around you. And I feel like there there is something here that you've, you're still sort of sad about the changes that you've had to make in the past. I mean, whatever you've had to do, I think that it's almost was something that you really didn't have a choice. Um, there's some hurtfulness that still lingers um, in your heart center. And I feel like there's still some sadness and maybe even some resentment about what really had to, had to take place. I don't really know if you really were wanting to, to walk away from what you had to walk away from, but I do feel like it was either a requirement that you did so or something that you knew that you had to do. Um, and it's, it's been hard. It's been hard. And I think that those feelings, Scorpio, are still underlying. They're still going through your, uh, your, you're still, the energy, the meridian that moves f through your um, physical body is still hitting up against some, some sadness. I don't know how else to say it. Here's the thing. Um, you are in the page of Pentacles. So around you, in your environment around you, uh, I do think that there's elements here that are starting to become better with the page of Pentacles. I mean, the heartache is still there. This sounds so familiar to a reading I did last week. Heck, it might have even been Scorpio. But it's just similar to a reading that was last week. And if it was Scorpio, then how cool um, would that be to have that story continue? But anyway, um, I do feel like, and I see here in this in these cards, that, that your situation is beginning to stabilize. And there are many ways to kind of see the stability. It's just going to be small at this point. Um, I think that it can be a lot better. It could be a lot better. But when I feel, Scorpio, like when you're looking around, you can see signs and, and symbols of things starting to come together for you. And I think there is an element of stability that's beginning to grow. Uh, a message could be coming in that could be helping you to see how, how your situation is becoming better, or money could be coming in to help you see how your situation is better. Um, but, but there, there are signs and symbols here that things are getting better. Is it an ace of pentacles? No, but it is a, and it is a stabilizing quality and it is a, a small improvement here. And I think that's really welcome. In addition, I do feel like along with this, um, I was going to say removal. And maybe somebody was removed from your life. Maybe you removed someone from your life. Maybe you removed a job, a removal. You might have just removed something from your life. But in any case, um, I think that you're starting to feel better. Page of Wands, you're starting to see. I'm saying a lot of starting words, starting this, starting that. And I, and again, it is, it is the beginning of something new and, and it does take time to change. But, as the as this week moves farther, I do think that uh, you're going to start feeling better. Your energy is going to be uh, stronger. Uh, that element within you, Scorpio, that that's charming. That's that's your um, your personal strength. What what really you like about yourself? Those elements are starting to like re regenerate within you, and so there we do have a. Oh, I just heard in my head the wheels beginning to turn, the wheels beginning to turn here. And it's because of some change that you made that was really difficult, really difficult to make this change. And yeah, inside and in your emotions, I mean, your throat's still tight. There's still tears up there in the eyes. You know, your throat, you want to kind of hold back those emotions. But yeah, um, I do think that you're going to still be feeling it a little bit this week. Um now, as you're moving through to the end of the week, 
you move into this protective place. You're moving into the four of pentacles energy. And there's something here that has been worth all the changes. Some reason why you've made this change. I, I really feel this four of pentacles moves up over the seven of wands and the fool energy into the lover's energy. So there's a situation here with another person could even be with a work situation. Like you can be in the lover's energy with a situation. Um, usually it's between people, but you can be in a work situation um, with a company, with an event. You can get all kind of wrapped up into something and like lose yourself in, lose your, you could lose your identity, lose yourself in a company. You could do that with a situation. But I think for more, more, and I'm not saying you're losing yourself here. I'm just kind of explaining the lover's card. But um, I think that there is a partnership here that you really are hanging on to, something very important for you. And it, it might even be connected to something that you've removed yourself from, stopped doing, stopped focusing on. Uh, it might have been a requirement connected into this relationship um, that um, that's here with the lover's energy. Now, there, there's something here that you really are valuing, and I think you're in a protective space towards the end of the week. And I'm not sure if there's someone that you're uh, the four of pentacles is connected to the seven of wands. So there's something here that you are saying or doing So maybe even some actions that you're taking that is protective of where you're going in the future. Um, I'm not sure who's around these changes that you've made, if this is family or friends or work, but somebody, you know, when we have the eight of cups, it usually it's sad because it brings hurt and it makes brings change into our lives, but also hurts other people sometimes, hurts their feelings, maybe even Im impacts their income, depending on what it is that you're changing. That's why the Eight of Cups is hard. It's hard for the heart because it's hard for the heart because we know the changes we're making are important for us, but they often impact other people. And that's really hard, Scorpio. And I think you feel that really deeply. In fact, it's right, that emotion is right there in my chest right now. So yeah, you felt this d deeply. Nevertheless, whatever you have going on here, you're willing to continue to move in that direction and you're willing to continue to advocate for it and to protect it because one way or another, it's helping you to recover. It's helping you to gain your strength back. It's helping you to see a new beautiful horizon ahead of you. So yeah, we have some sort of protection here, um, self-advocacy, um, separation of the drama. You know, there's a bubble around this person. So um, I do feel like you know exactly what you have here and you are taking steps protecting it, making sure that it's there for you as you move into the tomorrow. And there is a deep commitment here or a, or a bonded intimacy or a, um, or a so very valuable partnership, right? It could be in, it, it's usually love, but it can be in business. I've been in the lover's energy more in business than I have in my relationships. <laughs> That's because I've been, you know, um, I'm a single mom. I've, I've had to work in my life. And so for me, I've been in more of these in my business adventures than I have in my love life. But it's opposite for most. Hopefully it's opposite for, for most people. But yeah, lovers can the lover energy can kind of fit over a, a, some different situations that we have in life. Nevertheless, like there's a fool here. So you're moving ahead. And I think in many ways, uh, Scorpio, you, you're not quite sure how this is going to end. And, and you might not know. You might not have a manual for this. I don't think you do. Uh, but you're moving forward and, and there is some risk here. And usually with the fool energy, you could have people around you. Um, who could be questioning it, or they might be questioning your finances, or they might be questioning your partner, they might be questioning uh, if you if, if it's the right time. You know, the fool does come in in a place where people often look at the fool and say, um, oh boy, I don't know about that. You know, there, there's a lot of apprehension of the people because it's hard to do something new and it's not so often that we do this when we have the full energy here so it's something here that you haven't done before but it's also exciting it's really exciting it's really invigorating it's really full of 
um, I just uh, going to say like full of freedom that said, you know, it covers the higher font. So uh, I think that there is a, a element here of connection, of contract, of engagement, of making it formal, making it real, coming up with a process of making sure that it's going to fit in um, with the culture around you and with um, your own self and what you require in your relationship. So there is some sort of tying. I see a bow tie or a tie tying it up, tying it together, pulling the bow tight. Um, there, there's something here with that. So yeah, I mean, if you're moving into a new love, um, I, I do see you continuing forward in that. Um, if you're moving in, whatever you're connecting to and whatever you're working um, to build here is something that you're valuing. And it's something that you're willing to do when you don't know the future, when you haven't done this before. But there is some sort of formal agreement which i feel like it really adds some some stability here and you do have this new stability coming in so yeah i mean there at the end of this week i do feel like there's there's an element of structure here which i think really helps you to move forward into this without this structure without this commitment um, i think that you might not be so strong as to have the fool but since it's here uh, i think you're able to do it so Whatever this is, for some of you, it's new love. For others of it, it's new projects, new work partners, doing something new and different that's going to help you in the long run. Um, but it, it is coming with a regenerative energy after some loss and a really a, a strong value in what you have and where you're moving. Um, let's go ahead. I want to dig into the higher font because I think that's going to be really helpful um, I'll dig into the higher font, and then I am going to move forward into the extended. We're going to um, dig down deeper just a little bit more, and then I'm going to carry this energy forward. So let's go ahead and look at the higher font here. Tell me more about the higher font. Tell me more about this higher font energy. Tell me more about the higher font. Tell me more about the higher font. Four of Cups, Queen of Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more about this higher font. King of Swords. So the people that we have here it could be their their zodiac signs, or it could be the personality. Uh, that they're carrying at this time, the focus in their life and the way they're behaving. Um, but there is something that you're not quite sure of here. There, there are two people here. There's a queen of pentacles, um, which is so a, a feminine who's really looking at the reality of the situation, uh, looking at what's needed to, to help move this forward in a prosperous way, um, how, how to um, care for this on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, maybe even what to do with money, uh, what to do with the scheduling, and what to do with the relationship day-to-day, uh, -day, the day-to-day -day care of the relationship. Uh, and then you have this masculine king of swords. Um, this could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or it could be someone who's kind of taking on that personality type. But you do have a masculine here that's looking at the situation in a very unique way. Um, someone, the, the King of Swords is someone who really can kind of get out of the box. And there's an intrigue with the King of Swords. There's a mystery. There's some, uh, there, there is um, uh, mental stimulation with the King of Swords. He does require um, something. He usually does ask for something to be a little different. He's usually not... Um, Unless it's something very special, he's he's usually more apt to find comfort in a situation that allows for him to have the room he needs to be be himself. So he really doesn't like to be tied down by um, by in tight in a tight relationship or in a tight commitment. He he believes in commitment and he is a strong, committed, loyal person, but he also doesn't like the burden of clingingness and he, he likes strength. The King of Swords likes strength and he likes to be free to, to, um, 
to have his dreams and to, and to connect in with the consciousness of the world humanity. And that's kind of like the energy I'm getting with this King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles is looking at the reality of the situation saying, look, like if we're going to do this, um, I, I, I would like to do this and I really am committed to this, but we're going to have to look at um, how we're going to make this be something that can be successful in the long term. And what are our rules and regulations? What is our system in place? How are we going to um, move forward? And I feel like, um, I feel like Scorpio, you are asking, you are asking for some sort of commitment here or some sort of contract because you're going to be doing something that's different for you. It's different for you and it does come with some risk here. And it's something that you really are tantalized by and, and it's something that you're wanting to, wanting to step into. And I think that you're going to be finding a way to put some safety, a safety net around this so that you can be comfortable. Um, when you move into this new experience. So that's what I see you you really working on. And we do see the Queen of Pentacles here, which is, I feel like the, oh, you could be either one. It really could be either one. But I feel this Four of Cups energy. I think it's definitely a discussion with the Hierophant. It's definitely discussion. And I feel the Four of Cups is connecting more to the feminine than the than the masculine. Isn't that the way it goes, you guys? Isn't that the way it goes? <laughs> Oftentimes it's the feminine saying, hey, hey now, <laughs> this might be good for you, but I'm not sure if this is good for That is a voice of the woman throughout history. <laughs> I'm being facetious, but it's sort of true, sort of true. All right, um, let's see. What else are we going to look in before we move to the extended? Hmm. What else am I going to look into before we move to the extended? Maybe this fool energy. In the extended reading, um, I kind of wanted to go into these two in the extended reading and see what the nature of the relationship is. Um, and then we'll move forward to in the extended. So let's look at the full real quick here. Ace of Wands. There's, that's going to do it. I, I don't think you don't want to say no to this. I don't think you're going to say no. to It's too exciting. It's just perfect. It's too exciting. It's what you've been wanting for so long. In fact, I think that, um, Whatever it is, the value it brings to you is this livening. It's the quickening of the heart. It's the passion that starts to move up through it, through you and how it makes your muscles feel and uh, it gets your heart going and it helps you to move forward and it's exciting. It has these tantalizing. There's something here that's very tantalizing, Scorpio, that you're really able to step into something new. Um, really, really exciting. I love it, Scorpio. I love it. Um, all right, I'm going to uh, move into the extended reading now. We're going to look into this Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands and the Lover's Energy, and then we're going to move it forward to see how this is going to continue to move. All right, my friends, thank you all very much for being here. Um, it's a pleasure to read for you, Scorpio, and um, I look forward to uh, doing another weekly reading next week to see um, how, you guys are, how you guys are moving along. Could be a different story, but who knows? All right, thank you all very much.